In this tutorial, we'll go over how to use Google Sheets as a way to organize grades. You'll know how to access templates in Google Sheets, where to find the gradebook template, how to use the gradebook template by adding students, viewing the class averages, and putting grades, and changing the amount of points on certain assignments, etc. So when you open Google Sheets, how you go to the templates is go up to Template Gallery. When you're in Template Gallery, under the Education section, you have Attendance, Gradebook, and Assignment Tracker. So we're, I'm going to show you how to use the Gradebook template. So when you open up the Gradebook template, it opens up to the Overview tab. On this tab, it has a grade, grade distribution, so the number of students with that grade, and the average scores on each of the assignments and the grading system. So you can edit the grading system by changing the ranges and then it will change the class averages based on whatever your grading system is. And then when we go to the grades tab, you have each student, their overall class grade, the assignments, the points assigned to each assignment, and then what each student got. So you can change the class name and put your name, and then add assignments as needed. For instance, let's do test two. And then how many points are on this test goes down here. After you put in the name of the assignments, the points associated with that assignment, now you enter the points for each student. So let's say student one got 50 points out of 50. And then it changes the, the class average, which is shown in purple. And that gives you the class average grade, the class average percent, and then the average for each of the assignments based on what you input it as the people's grades. Now let's do add another student. You just type in the student column, and then it will calculate these things. So don't type anything here, and just put in for each of the assignments what they got. And then you see their grade, and it shifts the class average. Now if we go back to overview, that student will now be included in the class distribution. And then if we go to individual report, we look at the student's grades compared to the class average for each assignment. And then we can change students by going up here and then choosing the student. And every time you enter a new student in the grades section, they will show up in the individual report. So let's go here, student four, and it shows class average and where student four is. So overall, that is how you use the gradebook in Google Sheets.